from the parade of humiliations that declare we are worthless human beings to the systems that thwart the ability to accumulate wealth. The full range of racist indignities is on the agenda, according to the city's first lady. The new commission will let people share their experiences and suggest changes. And make plain the truth that even in 2020, to be a person of color means to live a parallel existence with white New Yorkers. We are saying officially we want the truth to come out in the open. Mayor de Blasio taking another step to address racial injustice while also lending a platform to his wife as she considers running for Brooklyn Borough President. The new panel will also consider the demand from some council members to remove the City Hall statue of Thomas Jefferson because he owns slaves. The First Lady even seemed to hint at changing the name of Gracie Mansion, the historic house where she and the mayor live, because Archibald Gracie profited from the slave trade. His wealth and prominence relied on the export of goods like cotton, tobacco, and indigo, all produced through the labor of people who were enslaved. I think it is a time to evaluate uh, the entire look and feel of this city. The city's first black mayor, David Dinkins, today said he thinks these changes are a good idea. Constitutional history professor Robert Blecker disagrees. Yes, Thomas Jefferson had slaves. So did George Washington and many other founders of this republic who fought for our liberty. We should add, not subtract. Let's erect a plaque contextualizing the person or event. As we were first to report, the de Blasio's in 2014 considered replacing many portraits of white men in City Hall, but never did. We also had the scoop when Shirlane McRae replaced the art inside Gracie Mansion to achieve more diversity. At the time, her staff told us she was swapping out a portrait of George Washington for one of Pierre Toussaint, a former slave who became a philanthropist. But they later clarified that the portrait coming off the wall was actually of Archibald Gracie. And there was a fight to save Columbus uh, a few years ago in 2017. People were laughed at for suggesting that, that Thomas Jefferson and George Washington would be next. But yet here we are. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.